Look at that, a hyena in golden light. Uh, Vim and I decided to come check on the den, and this is one of the skittish sub-adults. It's just moved a little bit away from the den as we came up, but hopefully it will relax a little bit. So, as Jamie says, they're, if they are from her last litter, they'll be about eight months old. So there we go. It's okay, little one. Come back. We're not up to anything. Now, we actually had a big discussion in camp today. James, Jamie, myself, Tristan. And we think she might actually have another litter inside there, just from the way she looks. Uh, or she's about to give birth to another litter. Now, we're going to just keep our voices nice and calm here. And there's Gwen herself. What, what's that? Was that a little... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Hello. It is so wonderful to have an active hyena den again. See, now, I can't see whether she's... Oh, she's just licking herself there. Shame. She is so low-ranking. She gets bullied by all the other hyenas. That's probably why she's decided to come out to this den that hasn't been used in a long time. And we haven't seen too, min too much other hyena activity around here. And since we found her here, we've only seen her and the two sub-adults. Look at all those bite scars on her head and on her ears. Shame. And she don't want to be a low-ranking hyena. Now, the hyena dynamics are, are really, really fascinating, uh, particularly around large clans. And low-ranking females, like Gwen here, uh, will often take their sub-adult, or their, their, their cubs out, foraging from as young as three months old. And the reason for that is that around the den, whenever meat is brought back, the dominant uh, cubs get to feast first and if the, her cubs or her went anywhere near it uh, she would be absolutely annihilated by the others but now but, oh what was that was that a bird was that one of the wow was that a bird or a bat I think it was a bird I think it could be a, a swallow or a martin that might be are known to nest inside uh, disused dens uh, or active dens uh, bats as well that was incredible I mean, definitely have to go back and look at that footage in, 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 in slow-mo and try to figure out what exactly that was it was so quick now one of the rarest swallows in Africa, the blue swallow in Nika Plateau in Zambia and Malawi only only nests um, in disused aardvark burrows. Oh, there we go. Final control have had a slower look. Apparently, it was a bat. So, obviously, there's quite a few chambers above that we can't see that that bat's utilizing. Well, Gwen didn't seem too concerned with the bats sharing her, her home. It is absolutely fascinating how she's almost seems to have broken off from the rest of the the, the clan. That's very interesting. Maybe she just had enough of being bullied and beaten. Ooh. Final control have managed to get a <laughs> look at her. Oh shame. Uh, a slow-mo of that bat coming out so I think we should definitely have a look uh, you guys are going to get to see it before me I'm quite jealous uh, I would love to see it but let's have a quick look <laughs> isn't that amazing uh, I, I, obviously I'm saying isn't that amazing I have no idea what it looks like um, since uh, um, we were 
weren't there. But now we've just popped in with Gwen. I don't want to stay too long with those sub adults still being unrelaxed, but we've done a nice little uh, habituation session. And I, of course, I do need to get to the birthday fiesta that's happening. And so, very nice to have her. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this den site dynamics plays out. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you guys something. So, that young one. There it is over there. Now, we're just going to watch its behavior when I start the car. So now, this is very important when animals are a little bit skittish. Now, I'm leaving the car running. And I'm just getting it used to the sound of my voice, the sound of a vehicle engine. Uh, obviously, I don't, we want them to become nice and relaxed like mum. Mum will help and aid in the, in the habituation process. But look at that lovely light there. Oh, gorgeous. Now, I've got my vehicle in low range, so as not to disturb them. I'm just going to move very, keep our movements very slow. Uh, we don't want to give the poor little ones a fright. Okay, well, I'm talking about that golden light. That seems like Tristan's got a wonderful sight to show you.